Dave with Align Therapy here. I wanted to talk today about balance and what's called proprioception with scoliosis. Proprioception is the body's ability to sense what's happening and make corrections for like balance and things like that. So I'm here with Strat. Strat is one of our awesome scoliosis pros. Uh, he's going to demonstrate a couple of things today for us. But uh, proprioception is important for everyday life. I mean, just standing on one foot, our body needs to talk to our brain and tell it where we are in space. When we have scoliosis, Strat, come on over here. When we have scoliosis, um, if, you, if you look, here, turn this way a little bit. Oh, right there. So if we look at Strat's back, his pelvis wants to sit a little bit to the right side. And that creates an offset or an imbalance in his spine. So his proprioception usually is less than if he wasn't shifted in the pelvis. So we're going to do a few things with Strat, go and turn face mirror, um, to see if he can maintain posture correction while he's, while he's doing something with balance or something with proprioception. So the first thing, Strat, go ahead and stand on one leg. Which one? Left. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So if we notice, we can see his body is trying to make corrections so that he stays on one foot. So now, Strat, you see how your pelvis went off to the right? Yeah. See if you can correct for that. <laughs> this is the hard side. There, there you go. Oh, right there. So we're challenging his body's ability to stabilize. There, perfect, perfect. All over. Okay, foot back down. Now let's do the right side. Go and stand on the right side. Right side's easier, huh? Yeah. Right side's easier. It almost automatically corrects into that pelvic correction position when he's standing on the right leg. And he's much more stable. It's a better leg. It's a better leg. We should get rid of the other leg. No, no. I need that too. Okay. So now, go ahead and put that down. Now that you're a pro at that, um, we're going to have you do that same thing standing on the foam. Okay. Let's see how far we can get with this balance stuff. So standing on one leg, now that we put foam underneath him, his foot foam can't <laughs> his foot can't sense what's going on as well, and so he has to make some corrections. Good. Stand on your right side. Let's see. Let's see the right side. So still a little less <laughs> So I think foam is the limit here for, for no. strap. So stand on both legs. Oh, there we go. And his pelvis is very corrected right now. So standing on that right side is definitely, definitely Let's easier. Lefty. Let's try lefty again. Lefty's hard. His pelvis wants to go off to the right. Aha, I'm doing Aha. Uh -huh. And now correct that. There we are. Perfect. Good. So the more we practice this and the more we do some proprioceptive training where his body's learning how to sense where not just his ankles are, but where his pelvis is, it's helpful to help him correct more when he's not thinking about it. Or when he is thinking about it, we have a better correction. Is this what you wanted me to do? Yes. So, so standing on on both legs, on an unstable surface like this, yeah, if you bring your feet together, bring your feet hard. together, then it makes it a little more challenging because he has less but of a base of support. Right. Okay, this is super easy. Good. So, we can challenge it that way a little bit more. Go ahead and hop off of that. So now we're going to use a BOSU ball. A BOSU ball, you can stand on one, one foot on the BOSU ball and it challenges that proprioception as well. But we're not gonna go we're not gonna go to that level here with Strat, yeah. You're gonna put one foot on the you side. Want to surf? I want you to surf. I want you to go up onto it like this. If balance is an issue, we can take a couple of poles. Pull onto those while you get up there. But you can't have water poles. <laughs> I mean you can have ski poles. They're kinda like ski poles. Good. Now stand up take nice. Them. Take them? Yeah. Alright. So your job, standing on the BOSU ball, is to keep that pelvis corrected. And, and sometimes I'll even have them do full 
Shroth Corrections standing on a BOSU ball. So put your hands on, put your hands on your shoulders. Elbows push out a little bit. Why We're just is, doing why kind is of a, my pelvis going like this? It's going crooked. Well, you gotta fix that. So elbows push out. Try some elongation for me there, Strat. Just elongating the spine. And you see how his body's trying to create stability and create more a more stable base for his spine. His pelvis moves, feet are moving. He's working. He's working to try and do this. So I'm barely even doing anything. So the more we do that, the more we challenge his ability to, to sense that proprioceptively, the more the more benefit we we get. What we'll notice when we start to work on balance with, with patients, not just scoliosis patients, but others, as we work with them, they get better. Like, they get better at balance. So the more you practice it, the better your balance gets because the communication between your body and your brain improves. The more it improves, the better your balance. And I've seen kids that can't stand on one leg on the BOSU by the end of a 10 minute little session of working on this, that they can stand on one leg on a BOSU. So it improves fairly quickly, but then we add on the posture correction component to it as well. And it gets trickier. It gets trickier. We get trickier. Do you want to hop down from that strap? Uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> okay. The poles may come in handy again. No, there we go. But it's kind of hot. All right. So now we're going to try one other one. Come on over here. We're going to take a look at this one. Is this our makeshift hold, stool? Hold on. No, hop on. So this one we're going to do kneeling on the ball. Oh. So we're going to use the bars to help stabilize this. You can get up on a ball like this, and then we're going to try and stabilize on the ball. This is a very high level uh, proprioceptive activity. What if I hit my face on the bars? <laughs> Let's not hit your face on the bars. Well, what if it happens when I mess up? <laughs> so, a lot of the bars. I've never tried this with Strat before. Mm. Knees apart a little bit. Sit tall. There. Keep all of the bars. Time. So we could even just have him keep a hold of the bars while we're working on correcting the pelvis. And we can do posture education with Schroth method stuff. But even just being on the ball and trying to keep his pelvis corrected and holding on, oh man, <laughs> is a lot of proprioceptive input. So as you've seen, we have progressed from fairly easy to not, so easy. to not so easy, so pretty hard. And uh, that's usually how we do it in the clinic. We start out slow and, and low level, and then we'll progress to higher level as, as they can do it. So if you have scoliosis, if you have uh, a pelvic imbalance, or if, if your balance is just, just struggling, this progression of proprioception is good. Uh, don't progress too quickly. Make sure that you're safe in doing these things. Mm -hmm. And before you do Schroth correction exercises, make sure you meet with a Schroth therapist. Don't just do the ones that you see in these videos because they may not be specific to you. They're definitely not specific to you. Yeah, so, my curves are special. Because his curves are special. You got and it. And yours are probably different. And mine are, I don't have curves, no, but yes. No, people different. that have curves. <laughs> right. So, um, hit subscribe so you can learn more about scoliosis, uh, and if you have questions, we're here for you.